Hello friends, Tony here. Uh, right now we have only this welcome page. I haven't customized also this one, but for now let's go and create a new page so we can navigate, for example, to slash about. Let's change that and let's say about. I think, yeah. About, we have 404 page not found. We are going to create that and for that I have opened the dashboard the control panel and here we can create pages now we need to go to collections because pages is inside the collections and as you can see by default we have this pages collections let's go to pages and we have a new entry now to create a page we need to create a new entry in this pages collection okay so pages is going to be inside this pages collection which is called entry and here we can create new entry. We have a title, content, author, template, uh, published or not, and the Slack. Let's say uh, about for the title. I'm going to just add something here. The author is me. The template, we have a default home and the layout. And if I open the VS Code, inside the resources, we have uh, views. And as you can see, we have a default home and the layout here. Layout is this one. We have the home, which has this SVG with a link with an SVG. And then we have this article and then some classes. And inside we render the content. The default is very simple. We have only the rendering the content, nothing style here. So if I choose default, let's choose a default as a template. And the slug is about, I'm going to say save and published. Okay, let's go to Satamic. We have page uh, 404, page not found. But if I refresh, yeah, we have here the content we added in this about content here. Okay, so if I just make this a bold with a save and publish and come here and refresh. Yeah, this is bold. Now let's go. And I'm going to change the template from default to this home template. I'm going to save and publish. Now let's see. If I refresh, now we have this logo which is inside the home uh, handlers right here. Okay. What if we want to create a new one? So I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to save this as uh, main handlers. And here, for example, I'm going to add H1 with some classes. So I'm going to say class text to be right or center. And also I'm going to say text is going to be to Excel. Text also is going to be uh, Indigo 700. And I think we are, yeah, also let's say text to be semi bold like this and here I'm going to say for example for now just title then I'm going to render the content right here which is going to be a section with some classes so class margin top of uh, 12 and I'm going to say padding of 6 and here I'm going to render the content also let me just uh, add some bg so bg to be slate 300 here i'm going to save and now let's go and choose in the pages collection about the template to be as you can see we have also main here uh, let me just zoom it so on the render we have also the main i'm going to choose main i'm going to save and publish now let's go to about i'm going to refresh yeah we have here the title and also let me just zoom it here okay we have the title if i change the text not indigo but to say red save come here and refresh we need to run so with it Stop and run again the npm run dev and then yeah we have red here and also the 
style we added. Okay friends, this is how we can create a new template and also how we can create a page inside the collections, pages collection. And here we have a home by default, the home entry, but we can create more entries. So we can create a new entry here, or we can come here and say create a child entry for the about. I'm going to name it a contact. And here, just let's say something like this. For the template, I'm going to choose the main template. And let's say save and published. We can close. Which means now if I go to about and just open the URL, we have slash about. If we say just slash uh, contact, we have 404. But if we change the URL to slash about, slash contact, now we have this thing here. So if I change, so let's go to contact and I'm going to say here, this is contact page. Make it bold, I'm going to save and publish and now come here and refresh. This is a contact page. Okay friends, this is how we can create pages in uh, Statamic. And this is all about uh, this video, how we can create pages inside the Statamic control panel. And then also we can modify and create our own templates in the views with the handlers. Now, if you like such a video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video and share with your friends and see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you very much.